Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Emily and in this video I will be creating two cards using some of the new products from Trinity and I will share here uh, one of uh, the really cool die sets that was released uh, last week and this is called Thanks A What. Uh, and yeah, it contains a lot of uh, cute dice that you can create uh, interactive cards with shaker cards or like I will do today uh, a light up card and it has these uh, like wires I don't know exactly what it's called in English but these um, yeah I will call it wires that you can switch out and it has different sentiments and I went with hello and I thought that was super cute I cut the base out of vellum and there is a couple of different sizes of that one so you can layer them up and creating the exact size that you want uh, to be the perfect one around so you can see here I cut uh, the around the vellum piece as well just to get a uh, sort of an outliner where I can um yeah uh, adhere my piece uh, down and you can see i'm using liquid glue for that and i have this here so it would lay on top and we have our frame or um, light bob and i will raise all of this up with some foam strips from trinity and i also have one of these uh, one lights from pearl blossom press i just love these when i'm using when, when I am creating light up cards, this is the only one I actually have been using because it's super easy to use and figure out how to to attach everything. So you can see it comes with uh, the battery. So I'm just putting that into place, figuring out which way is up uh, so that the mechanism will light up. And you can see here I'm just pressing the bottom and the light will like light up. And you can see that the dimension will make it not light up <laughs> uh, when it's uh, just sort of attached to the background. But when the recipient pushed the bottom, it will light up. And Trinity has a really good stamp set that can tell the recipient that this is an interactive card. And I will share it here in a second. So I will use that one uh, for... A little bottom for this card as well and I needed a sentiment so I picked one from the what's up uh, this is also a new 4x6 stamp set and I will use that a little bit more in my next project I heat embossed in white on top of some pink cardstock the same pink cardstock that I have in the background uh, or on my card base I should say and here is that cool um, um, stamp set that will tell you uh, what type of interactive card uh, it is so for mine I just uh, created a little bottom here that it says push and I'm trying to figure out the, the best placement for this and there you go we have our card I just picked out a couple of bubbles in coordinating colors so these are also pink and I had these sort of scattered around my page so that's it for our first card and then we will move on to our second one for this one i'm using the light bulbs in the whatsapp and yeah it's it's a really fun one as well and uh, this is also the stamp set that the sentiment come did come from and you have this sort of smiley face so i will use that as well you can see i'm going around just stamping it out and then I will create a rainbow colored light bulbs here. So I went around uh, using my Olo markers in two different shades. I just loving, I have been loving using these. They are super easy to figure out. So I have mine just with the brush nib. So I will have one lighter and one darker to all the sides. So it's it's like you're creating your own like tri-blends if that makes sense i'm usually only wor works with like one or two colors per per um, color family when i'm creating cards so for me this has turned out really nicely i don't have to go look looking my stash for um all my markers i just have them in a little ball here on my desk and i'm reaching for them all the time i don't have 
uh, since I don't have too many, I think it's a hundred something Ola markers uh, that's available. I have them all, uh, but I have them sort of my favorites in a ball here on my desk. So it has worked out really nicely. So here you can see I'm just putting a couple of strips over my card uh, panel there. And that pretty much finished off my second project as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Links to all the products that I used will be listed down below. And I will also have some close-up photos at the end. And until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye!